It's not surprising to see Super Bowl favorites emerging by this point in the postseason race, but it's still very far from over. Fans are now wondering which NFL teams will make it to the Super Bowl in 2022, and in today's video, we'll go over certain teams that might surprisingly make it to the Super Bowl. So let's see just who they are. First off, here are the criteria for making it to the Super Bowl. Generally speaking, mid-season favorites don't usually end up playing in the Super Bowl. For instance, the Cincinnati Bengals finished 5-4 after Week 10 of only last season and went on to represent the AFC in Super Bowl 56. But every now and again, we are shown that certain underdog teams can shine through and enter the playoffs to contend for the title. There have been many teams like this, and we'll be going over five such teams. We'll discuss these teams' potential as dark horses in detail and why January isn't the time to write them off. And number five is the Cincinnati Bengals. Even if it seems strange, the odds makers don't appear to be very optimistic about Cincinnati, the reigning UFC champion. The Bengals have had many consistency issues this season, and they trail the 6-3 Baltimore Ravens in the AFC North. Cincinnati started the season 0-2. They also dropped their first face-to-face -face contest with Baltimore and were humiliated by the poor Cleveland Browns in Week 8. Jamar Chase, a talented wide receiver battling a hip issue, is also absent. Cincinnati, though, is now sporting the same record as it did at this stage in 2021. Joe Burrow, the quarterback, showed last season that he could go on a tear down the stretch, and presuming Chase returns, he escaped being placed on injured reserve, it may happen once again. Additionally, the Bengals' ground game and Joe Mixon finally got rolling in Week 9. Cincinnati only surpassed 100 yards rushing once this season, when it carried for 241 yards against the Carolina Panthers. The defense, which is currently ranked a respectable 10th in yards allowed, will welcome star tackle DJ Reader bends backward. The return of Reader will be crucial, even though CB Chidobi Awuzie was just placed on injured reserve due to a knee issue. Most of the leading players are healthy, except for the injuries to Chase and Awuzie. Perhaps more importantly, Cincinnati knows what it takes to overcome the problems. After losing in Cleveland, Burrow assured reporters, we're not panicking. He added that they are aware of every game's mistakes. From the looks of it, the team is planning to move ahead, despite the speed bumps they faced. At number four are the Green Bay Packers. The Green Bay Packers season hasn't gone well so far. The offense has been disjointed, and quarterback Aaron Rodgers hasn't performed like the reigning MVP. In contrast, Green Bay's defense has done a terrible job stopping the run, giving up 4.8 yards per carry. Since the Packers aren't scoring in big bursts anymore, this has led to a two-sided issue. Even though Green Bay's ninth-ranked overall defense isn't entirely at fault, opponents are now more inclined to stick with the run. A five-game losing run for the Packers also caused them to fall far behind in the NFC North. With an 8-1 record, the Minnesota Vikings are comfortably leading their division. But here's the deal. In Week 10, Rodgers could have finally found a substitute for Devontae Adams. Christian Watson, a rookie wide receiver, hauled in four catches for 107 yards and three scores. Aaron Jones and A.J. Dillon are a premier backfield tandem for Green Bay. If the offense has found its big play receiver, it may be a dangerous late in the game. The Packers recently defeated a very competent Dallas Cowboys team in overtime, which could give them the assurance they need to mount a comeback. According to Doug Russell of Fox 1070 The Game, head coach Matt LaFleur stated, man, it's been a long time to step up here and have a grin. The challenging schedule for Green Bay before its Week 14 bye week includes games against the Tennessee Titans, Philadelphia Eagles, and the tenacious Chicago Bears. But this team has skills. Moving on to number three is the Los Angeles Chargers. The Los Angeles Chargers' main problem is, and always has been, the injury bug. While pass rusher Joey Bosa and star wideouts Mike Williams and Keenan Allen have lost considerable time due to injury, left tackle Rashawn Slater is on injured reserve. Otito Ogbonia and Christian Covington are both anticipated to miss the remainder of the season at defensive tackle, but the Chargers have managed to remain afloat because of the outstanding performance of the offensive line despite losing Slater, running back Austin Eckler, and quarterback Justin Herbert. Bossa, Williams, and Allen are anticipated to make a comeback this year, maybe very soon. According to Eric Smith of the team's official website, head coach Brandon Staley stated on Monday that fans would see Mike and Keenan returning in practice that week. The Chargers should have a shot against the Kansas City Chiefs, a team that defeated Los Angeles by a narrow field goal in Week 2. If Williams and Allen can play in Week 11, you can guarantee that the Chargers will no longer be neglected if they defeat their greatest division opponent and improve to 6-4. and four. When the season first started, Los Angeles was by no means forgotten. In July, the Chargers were selected as the AFC West winners by the NFL Experts Panel from Bleacher Report, in large part due to the presence of rising star Herbert. Herbert is putting the Week 2 rib ailment that limited him early behind him. If important players like Williams, Allen, and Bob do 
return, the club may resemble the one that we expected throughout the summer much more. Up next on the number two is the New York Giants. The third best record in the NFL is shared between the Giants and Kansas City, but many people, especially the bookmakers in Vegas, appear to think of New York as a bunch of nice guys than serious competitors. And it's not shocking. This is a team whose record over their previous five seasons has never exceeded 500. Daniel Jones, the team's quarterback, is on the verge of being a flop, while Brian Dabble, the head coach, is a rookie. But there's a reason the Giants are 7-2. New York has played exceptionally hard for Dabble this season, and Jones has flourished in a game manager position. The Giants boast a ninth-place defense regarding points surrendered, and they frequently find a way to win close games. Saquon Barkley, a running back for New York, is a viable MVP candidate, but he won't take home what has effectively become a quarterback award. Barkley already has six touchdowns, 197 receiving yards, and 931 running yards. When required, he's able to take offense to himself. After the 24-16 victory against the Houston Texans, Jones stated that he likes the opportunity to take over a game and play as well as he did. To assume that Barkley couldn't dominate postseason games would be naive, given that New York is only one game back of the Vikings and Eagles. For the top NFC seed, there's the possibility that the Giants might get by since they only need two victories in the postseason to get to Super Bowl 57. They are well trained and have the potential to cause issues throughout the postseason. Finally, in number one is New York Jets. Despite not making the playoffs since 2010, the New York Jets are viewed more as a feel-good mid-season story rather than a genuine playoff contender, similar to the Giants. This lack of postseason success is not unexpected. Plus, New York trails the Dolphins in the AFC East and has a combined record with the Buffalo Bills, who are one of the favorites to win the Super Bowl. But it's important to remember that the Jets have already defeated the Dolphins and the Bills this season. The Jets should be regarded seriously for this reason, which is maybe the main one. The Jets won't be scared by Miami or Buffalo, two teams that New York may play in elimination games. Naturally, having confidence by itself won't guarantee a Super Bowl spot. Zach Wilson's inconsistent performance as a quarterback and the team's remaining schedule, which includes five games against teams with winning records, must still be overcome. They are, though, willing to focus on one game simultaneously. According to Brian Costello of the New York Post, head coach Robert Saylor remarked that he wasn't sure whether it's going through people as much as it's conducting their business, doing their job, and playing to the best of their abilities, and believing that if they do that, they'll appreciate the result. So far, the Jets have mostly taken care of business, particularly on defense. They are 10th in points allowed and 7th in yards allowed. A solid defense and playmakers like Michael Carter, James Robinson, and Garrett Wilson might carry New York in the postseason as long as Wilson can keep his errors to a minimum. That's a wrap for this video. Which of these NFL teams do you think may surprisingly make it to the Super Bowl? Comment below, give this video a thumbs up, and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you in the next one.